Hello techies, welcome back to our channel UiPath by Sujita. In this video, we are going to uh, learn about uh, an exception which is very familiar, familiar to all of our UiPath developers, but we may not be concentrating much on this. So let me share uh, my experience with this kind of exceptional message. So you might be familiar with this, the UI element to be found does not belong to the target application that has window attach mode set to single window. Yes, many of you might have got this, but many of our developers used to re-indicate the element or recreate the activity again, or maybe removing the packages and installing it again. So these kind of blind approaches may resolve the issue, but as a perfect, as a standard developer, we are not supposed to blindly do something. We, it, it is always, it's my sincere advice to always understand the concept, always try to understand, dig deep and try to understand why it has failed. What is the reason behind it, root cause? Then as a developer, you can crack it out. So you can get the right answer, right solution in order to fix this. Then, then there will be a meaning, right, for each and every activity what you are performing, right? So, let us, uh, let me share this with you. Like, uh, I have a simple, yeah, I have a simple process where I'm opening a Google in Chrome browser, then searching for UiPath by Sujita and then clicking on images. So, very simple. So, let me run this. Okay. So, when I run this, uh, it is going to open a Chrome browser and then uh, searching for UiPath by Sujita. Then it is supposed to click on images where it has ended up saying the UI element to be found does not belongs to the target application that has window attach mode set to single window. Now, let us go back to here. Always the message as I say is very clear it, it is where we are supposed to crack okay it clearly says it clearly talking about target application the target application where its window attach mode property is set to single window there might be n number of target applications which are in our automation process but it is giving a clue where its window attach mode property is set to single window. Let us go back to our code. What is my target application here? It is very clear. Google, right? Because maybe if, if I have some YouTube, I have some Amazon.com and Flipkart, Naukari, many applications. When, when my automation is, is between different applications, it is giving a clue saying your target applications property window attach mode is set to single window right as soon as you see this few developers if you are a beginner as soon as you see this window attach mode set to single window you may feel that changing this back to some other value say application instance or something may resolve the issue no you are wrong okay so it is just giving a clue to identify the target application that's it so now I got my target application that is Google. Now let us come back. It is talking about UI element. It is unable to find the UI element. It is able to get this element because the selector is fine. But it clearly says that the UI element is not belonging to this particular target application where the actual processing is happening. Fine. So let me just go back to the activity. Okay. So this is my activity. If you go to the properties of this activity, the targeting methods is strict selector. So just open the strict selector and as soon as you see this, you can find this in red. It, it says it is a wrong one. That means the status we already learned about the selector status, right? If you are not familiar with that, just go through our videos on selectors. Okay, so let's come back to the selector here. Maybe this selector could able to identify an element, but the application is wrong. If you see here, the title is YouTube. So looking at this, you should be in a position to identify the root cause. The root cause here is, even though the selector is correct, but 
it is actually searching on a different application right we our target application is google but it is searching for a cell i mean ui element from youtube okay that is what it is clearly says okay it is not telling that it is it is unable to find the ui element it it is telling that the ui element is not found on the is is not belongs to the target application okay to be found does not belongs to the target application why it is belonging to some other application that is youtube right so instead of this here we are supposed to get something related to google right yeah now that you got the root cause of this now either reindicate the element using indicate element or you can fix this using ui open in ui explorer let us do that okay reindicate let me open this in ui explorer let me indicate this using one anchor as well fine let me see this how it is now super it is targeting to google and then images fine now let me validate this I execute this perfect right just let us go back to this and see it says google right it is very clear right so that's how we are supposed to our i mean to say a standard developer uh, approach should be okay always try to understand the concept always try to understand the root cause then you will find many many better and best approaches to resolve the issues Thank you so much for your support so far to this channel. Let us meet through our next videos. Until then, happy learning and happy automation. Bye-bye.